Okay, so welcome back to my channel, guys. So my name is Faith again, and um, for today's vlog, we'll talk about ano nga ba yung mas maganda public school or private school, ano uh, public school or or online schools. So napakadami ngayon na um, online uh, English teachers. We all know na Philippines is one of the greatest greatest <laughs> okay greatest country when it comes to or Asian. Uh, Asian country na uh, pinakamagaling mag-English kasi nga uh, we were colonized by the Americans for how many years? So 30 years, more than 30 years I guess. So we were able or we learned how to speak English uh, fluently. So also there are some countries, great countries that can speak English fluently like India, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore. So it's not their main language but still they can speak the, the language fluently it's just that the pronunciation of the filipinos <laughs> filipinos are better than their pronunciation because uh, they they have a thick um uh, chinese accent and uh, the indian accent you know how hard it is to how hard it is to understand them right so i also had or i've been to I've been to online English teacher teaching for almost seven years before I joined the public school, uh, the Department of Education. So I started 2010. After graduation, I uh, ng Chinese, Japanese, Korean, so Ivy Line, so Samarin Clark. So uh, it opened a lot of doors for me because. Uh, there are so many Asian countries na nag-aaral ng English, English sa Philippines. So, uh, after that, after joining a company, uh, maybe for four years like that, uh, I established my own, uh, what do you call this, internet connection inside my house. So, I was able to teach online inside my house. Uh, since I got pregnant since 2014, yeah, 2014. So from, from 2014 to, to 2017, uh, I ako ng English sa uh, bahay. So home-based online or English as secondary language teacher sa, so to different nationalities all over the globe. So from China, Japan, Korea, and also I've learned the, somewhere in Europe, they are also studying English, especially in Poland, Spain, uh, France, uh, some are some Germans like that. And also it opened the doors for me to teach Tagalog, Filipino Tagalog to Americans, Canadians, Australians. So these are um, foreigners coming from English speaking countries that they want to learn Tagalog. Bakit nga ba? Kasi some of them they got married to Filipina, so alam niyo naman that uh, there are so many Fili Filipinas na nakakapag-asawa ng foreigners like Americans like that. So they they want to learn the language or our language, but uh, I found out na mas mahirap ituro yung sarili mong lingwahe kahit na you are fluent to it. You know. You know that there's something wrong. Alam mo may mali sa pagtatagalog niya pero you cannot point out to us. Kasi uh, we got used to it. We grew up speaking Tagalog like that. But our mothers and fathers did not uh, tell us uh, what is wrong. It should be like this. It should be like that. So we grew up listening Tagalog. We grew up listening how or we speaking speaking Tagalog. So just like the same with an American people, American person. So they know if there is something wrong with your speaking, but they cannot point out where is the mistake or yung mali mo. So not, not like in the Filipinos, when you when you study English, you have to uh, study the grammar first, everything step by step until pronunciation, reading, writing, lahat ng parte ng English. So it's funny, funny to say that I had a 
uh, an American friend telling me, baka nga, mas magaling ka pang mag-English sa akin or magturo ng English sa akin. Kasi, I know, I know in myself na hindi ako ganun kagaling magturo ng English. Same with the Filipinos. When I thought a Filipino language, pinagpapawisan ako every time na, every time na nagtuturo ako ng Pilipino kasi nga, I really don't know the grammar. Grammar, Filipino grammar is really, really, really hard. 2014, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 17, so three years, I've been an online, an online English teacher inside my home or my house. So, uh, basically, um, maganda siya. It's really good uh, working at home. Bakit nga ba? And so, I have all the time or a lot of time for me to take good care of my son. So, nakita ko siyang lumalaki from birth to three years like that. So, uh, napakasarap ng feeling na nakikita mong lumalaki yung anak mo every day like that. So, also, for the for the salary, I guess it's really good. Kasi nga, since I am a freelance, freelance online English teacher, uh, I can... I can have I can have like three companies online companies during that time but masipag ka lang you will really earn a lot of money from online English teaching I earned uh, so much like uh pinakamalaki kong na na kinita is 80,000 pesos a month but 80,000 pesos a month really sobrang pagod mo at the same time para mawawalan ka na ng bosses to the point na wala ka ng tulog like that so yung pimples mo sobrang dami sa mukha mo like that pero kung matakaw ka sa pera so you go especially if you're single wala ka namang inaalaga ang bata uh, it's it's really easy to earn money from online english teaching so if you want to learn or if you want to know kung ano yung mga website na uh, sinalihan ko, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put it on the dis description box. So, just click on that link, pwede ka mag-apply doon, and uh, send your resume or video so that you can you can apply in their company. It's a freelance company. And I earned like $8 per, per hour. So, just imagine $8 per hour, how much is that? Maybe... 8 times 50. I'm not really good. Maybe 400, 400 something. So just imagine 400 pesos in just one hour. Compare mo siya sa, sa public school. Sa public school, I earned like 800 a day. So for 8 hours na yun ha. So kung i-divide mo siya sa dalawa, 400 plus 400. So 2 hours mo lang siyang kikitain sa online. But since uh, I... I'm looking for stability. Stability kasi nga uh, mataas yung sahod sa online. You have all the time uh, pag mamayari mo yung oras mo, kung gusto mong magbukas ng slots, ng uh, uh, teaching hour, pwede kang mag-open, pwede kang mag-cancel anytime that you want. Pero when it comes to stability, um, there's something wrong. It's uh, Mataas nga yung sahod pero wala kang naiipon like that. So, just the same naman sa public school, no? But when it comes to public school kasi, there's a stability. Stability of tenure. Uh, you feel safe knowing that you are employed in the, in the government of the Philippines. So, while I am uh, teaching online for uh, for three years inside my home, I, I studied 21 units of English, uh, no, no, 21 units of uh, methods of teaching so Our Lady of Fatima sa so Pampanga, sa so San Fernando, Pampanga. So after that, after that, I took the um, board exam for teachers and luckily I passed. So 2016, I passed the licensure exam, uh, September 2016, and by July 2017, I got hired in the Department of Education. So, uh, for me, they are both okay, but if you want uh, to be free, um, mas malaya, ganun, walang, walang masyadong deadlines na kailangang tapusin, 
you choose online, online teaching. Kasi nga, pag mamayari mo yung oras mo, at the same time, malaki yung sahod. Kaya lang, kailangan, magaling ka sa pag-iipon. Kasi, kapag alam mong marami kang pera dumarating, <laughs> so basically, sa akin, hindi siya nag-work. Kasi nga, uh, I travel most of the time. <laughs> so, I travel like twice a month like that. So, I would do cancel my classes. So, parang pasaway na teacher. <laughs> Naglalag naglalagalag sa Pilipinas lang naman. Kasi, hindi uh, pa naman ako nakapag-abroad. But anyway, so when it comes to the Department of Education, there are so many laws na kailangan mong sundin, memorandums like that. So, it feels like na hindi ka makahinga. It's like to the point na they will say na kailangan mong tapusin ito and then mamaya na yung deadline like that. Yung parang I got shocked with the culture in the Department of Education from a very malayang teacher to a very strict uh, company kasi nga kailangan mong sundin yung batas like that. But anyway, I'm enjoying 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 my stay in the department of education though it's really really hard kasi nga in one classroom sometimes sumaabot sila na 50 40 to 50 students so just imagine ubos ubos yung bosses mo sakasigaw like that yung parang na <laughs> i got shocked with the the culture itself kasi nga Sobrang daming paperworks, sometimes napapanaginitan mo na yung mga papel, gano'n, lumilipad-lipad sila sa harap ko, so, tapos sinasabi nila nagsasalita yung mga papel na tapusin mo na ako, like, <laughs> so sometimes you cannot, yeah, you cannot sleep, just to finish a lot of deadlines, uh, but anyway, so it is a rewarding job naman, truly that teaching is the noblest profession, kasi nga, um, we have too much vacation in the public school from April and May, so too much on with pay and uh, mid-year bonus like that. So, yun na siguro yung pinaka-reward niya. At the same time, I was able to loan a big amount of money para mapag-aral ko yung kapatid ko. So, it's still rewarding na hanggang ngayon. Binabayaran mo like that. But, it's, it's okay naman. So, I don't know... Uh, if I want to go back in online online teaching. So sometimes I do have students from Saturdays and Sundays, but since I don't open uh, regular slots of uh, open time for classes, I lose a lot of uh, regular students of mine since I entered the public school because I mean, uwi ka na lang ng pagod na pagod parang gumagapang ka na lang pa uwi <laughs> so sobrang pagod mo so I could not have the online classes anymore but uh, both of them are okay so it's just after you or what to choose so that's it guys so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time and I'll teach you how to become uh, effective and effective online English teachers so how you can earn more money as a English teaching so thank you so much and have a great day bye